Well, we're still on our way over to the hospital to get the pacemaker put in. That's because what you saw last week is actually still going on this week because I'm still messed up because we don't have a show to get up. So we're doing a continuation of mm -hmm. the Trackers train show. Right. But this time we're going to look at the car museum in there, which is the Browning car collection. We'll go through every single car and kind of look at those. Those are really fun those and interesting. Are so cool. This is one of the great car collections if you're into oh. luxury 30s and yes. 20s cars the and, and even board. even earlier teens cars, all the way back to a 1901 car. It's a really incredible collection. Now, the Utah State Railroad Museum is also home to the Browning Automobile Collection. So while the train show is going on, you can come over here and for no charge at all, you can scope out this amazing collection of cars that the Browning family has been putting together for years and years. If you've seen the episode on the Browning Gun Museum, which is also here in the building, then you know how cool that is. And you saw a little taste of this car collection. Now this 29 Packard is sort of indicative of the cars that are here. Look at this cool compartment just to hold your golf clubs. Oh, and this very rare Graham Page. Now this amazing 26 Lincoln belonged to Ernest Torrance, who was a silent film actor back in the 20s. There was a lot of money floating around in the 1920s, especially in the film industry. And luxury cars like these were being manufactured by the American builders and the European builders. Check out this Pierce Arrow. Now that really made a statement when you showed up in a Pierce Arrow in 1929. This car is completely original, very low mileage original car. In the 1930s, cars looked a lot different. They started really evolving. Check out this 37 Packard. But going back the other way, this 11 Knox, look how much more primitive that looks compared to the 20s cars. I think I prefer the earlier cars. They're just so much kludgier and niftier. You know, by the 1920s, these things almost started to seem modern and sophisticated by comparison. Check out this 30 Cadillac. Now that was the height of elegance in the 1930s. This is a V16 engine. Wow! But if you're looking for the really, really early iron, it doesn't get earlier than this, the 1901 Oldsmobile. This was the first car mass produced in America. The first automobile was built in Germany in 1895. So this is just six years later. And now Oldsmobile has fallen by the wayside, a victim of the crash of 2008. Now here's an interesting artifact, it's a brick from the Hinkley Dodge dealership. Hinkley Dodge was the first car dealership west of the Mississippi, and this was their structure. It was in Mount Pleasant, Utah, Karen's home. Well, what we've been doing for the last 24 hours would definitely not constitute screwing around. Well, no. Well, there was a little screwing around by some of the hospital staff, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid wherever I go, I encourage that kind of yeah. behavior. It's, Sorry to toss you out on your hand. It's part of my idiom. But we are now returning from the hospital, me with a pacemaker now installed, uh, which should facilitate more improved screwing around without my heart stopping in the middle of screwing around. Or so. mine stopping because it's stopping. Because yeah, it's been kind of a weird, a weird 24 hours and it's hard to imagine that it's just been 24 hours, oh, but geez. in fact it's been 24 hours and I now have a pacemaker. At any rate, we, uh, we did bring the Pope along on our adventures here just in case. I, I'm not a 
particularly religious person. He just and, doesn't trust my driving. And I'm not Catholic either, but I, I you just, I, there's no point tempting fate. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed the cars up there at the museum. That's a really great car collection, and I know that's kind of a sleeper kind of thing for a Toy Man episode, but at the same time, it really is interesting and not boring and uh, gives me a chance to sort of recuperate from having my heart stop. <laughs> <laughs> a few of these stupid inconveniences that have come up. Oh, geez, Pontiff, it's, stay, it's, stay it's with us. Yeah. It's his turn. He doesn't like my driving either. Yeah. My favorite saint is St. Francis the Sissy. <laughs> anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should. And you can do that by clicking on the little blue button. Oh, okay. We're just bringing the Pope down. Um, clicking on the little blue button, you can go to the channel by clicking on the rocket ship, and that takes you to the channel. Or you can go to uh, toymantelevision.com, which is really kind of a fun thing to do, just, just to look around, because it's kind of a fun little website with a lot of screwy things and some links to some weird and fun and interesting people and places and, and so on. But to just subscribe, blue button, bang, and then you're subscribed. And you'll be notified of all of these brilliant, brilliant videos as they go up every Sunday morning, even Sunday mornings after my heart stops beating. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again next Sunday, this time with a little more high-level, high-energy screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye.